And we are back here on the GSMC football podcast. And for the second part of the show, uh, we are going to talk about Tyreek Hill and him being added to the injury report this week, uh, dealing with a hip injury. And it's possible that he might actually uh, miss some time. Um, I saw, like, on the Sleeper app, it was, uh, there were reports that uh, the Dolphins are preparing uh, to be without Tyreek Hill for some time, or at least for Sunday. Um you know, so but that that's uh that's big um, if he misses time because um, I have a uh, you know a graphic from uh, StatMuse um, so we'll go through that actually um, and it's uh, it's two of splits with and without Tyreek Hill um, so we'll get that up yeah so um, yeah again uh, I got this off of StatMuse so. On the top is uh, his numbers with Tyreek Hill, and then on the bottom is his numbers without Tyreek Hill. Uh, and it's it's he's a two is a completely different quarterback, um, you know. And again, like he's not going to miss. I I mean, if he misses time, it's not going to be he's going to be out for like, you know, the rest of the year or anything. I mean, they're just going to have to deal with, deal with it if it's like you know one or two games. Uh, I would imagine. I mean, I don't. Again, I don't know the severity of the injury, um, but on the top, you get 20 games with Tyree Kill, and the bottom is 23 without. And um, yeah, like I said, completely different quarterback without uh, Tyree Kill. Um, I mean, he's passing for almost 300 yards uh, with him, and then you know he's not even in the 200s. He's under 200 yards uh, per game without him. Um, you know, the passing yards are up, completion percentage, passer rating. The, um, I mean, the interceptions are around the same, but the touchdowns are way up, uh, 13. Uh, yeah, the, the interception uh, percentage is around the same. Got sacked more without Tyreek Hill. But again, you know, the offensive line is definitely better than when Tua first got into the, first got into the league. Um, but yeah. I mean, uh, it's a it's a big difference. It's a big difference. But I just uh, that was just something I wanted to uh, uh, bring up. Again, I, I'm not not th- that I'm trying to, you know, push a narrative or anything. But th- I just wanted to pull this up, just because, um, you know, like it's two is a completely different quarterback without uh without Tyreek Hill. Now, of course, you still got Jalen Waddle, um, you know, and you got the running game with Moster. Jeff Wilson came back. Um, this past week, but yeah, I mean, if if Tyree kill misses a game, I mean, that's, uh, you know, that's, that's a big loss there. Um, and you know, they're going to have to make up that production. Um, I mean, again, I I think the dolphins will still be okay, but this also, uh, you know, begs the question, uh, they are an upset alert this week and, um, you know, they're playing against the Patriots, a team that they won against earlier in the year. Um, you know, but the, the the Patriots are coming in. Uh, you know, after a big win against the Bills, um, you know they've already played Miami this year, and now they're not going to have to game plan for Tyree Kill possibly if he if he misses this game. So that does beg the question: Are the, are the Dolphins on upset alert this week? Um, for me personally, I'd probably still say no. I do think, like right now, the game, um, the spread for this game. It was like nine, nine and a half. Um, so you would figure that's going to go down uh, if Tyreek Hill uh, ends up not playing this week. So let's actually take a quick look at that. Yeah, so right now the Dolphins are favored by nine. Um, I mean, I, I I still would take the would take the Dolphins. Um, you know, the even even so, just because the Patriots have been struggling, well, have, have struggled in Miami in years past. Um, you know, so I'd probably, uh, I'd probably still side with the Dolphins in this game. But you know, the, again, the Patriots—they're coming off of a big win. Um, Mac Jones looked good. You know, and I, I think most people would probably say the Bills' defense is, you know, better than the Dolphins' defense. You know, so we'll we'll see, we'll see. But um, you know, that, that just it's still something to keep an eye on. You know, with Tyreek Hill being out. Um, if he if he's out but you know it just goes to show you though like you know with some of these quarterbacks you just got to give him you got to give him a number one wide receiver 
and see if they could be successful. And Tua, listen, Waddle's a, a solid receiver, but you add Tyreek Hill and, and Tua's numbers have gone up, you know, and, and that's what you got to do. And Tua's a guy that's benefited from having an elite wide receiver added to, uh, you know, his team. You know, I mean, you look at, you know, what the Bears did with Justin Fields, they had DJ Moore, and yeah, they had that great game against the Commanders, but, you know, they were, they've struggled. They've really struggled, so... Uh, you know, Tua has responded when he's, you know, they added a uh, an elite wide receiver to his team. He's looked like a much better quarterback. Uh, but that, but that's what you got to do. That's what you got to do. And, you know, there's a lot of quarterbacks that they don't have that. So, and Mac Jones is one of them, you know. Um, you, you know, the Patriots didn't add any elite wide receivers for him. You know, his best receiver is Kendrick Bourne, basically. Um you know, so that's what you got to do for these quarterbacks. Um, but yeah, I mean, this game uh, coming up on Sunday, obviously, we'll uh, you know we'll preview it tomorrow. Um, you know, uh, again, the game's in Miami. So, I, and obviously, they played each other. It, it was a close game in New England. I think it was only a one-score game. So. Patriots maybe want to get some revenge. I don't think that I, I I don't think they will. But losing Tyree Kill is big, and, and you know there's no uh, there's no eight chan in this game. He he's still going to be out till I think week uh, after the the Dolphins bye week. So I think week eleven he's supposed to come back. Week eleven, week twelve. So they're going to get him back. But Mostert, I mean, he's ran the ball incredibly well this year. And I, I made a bad trade in one of my uh, one of my fantasy leagues uh, before the year started because I just didn't think Moster was going to be a factor, really. Um, well, fantasy wise, I, I just thought you know running backs getting older. Yeah, he's like a 30, 31 year old running back, and uh, he just um, and also the other thing too is he gets injured a lot as well. So I just was like, eh, I think I'm going to trade him and. I mean, he's been a great running back for fantasy. So, I mean, this, this this Dolphins offense, I mean, you know, I went over the statistics yesterday. I mean, they, they lead pretty much every every offensive category, you know, because they got track stars everywhere. I mean, Moster, Tyreek Hill, Waddle, A-Chan when he comes back, um, you know. Uh, you got Cedric Wilson, Robbie Anderson. I mean, those are guys, well, uh, sorry, chosen. Uh that's his name. But those guys are going to have to step up if Tyree Kill misses uh, misses Sunday. I did see, though, that, you know, sometimes they have, I think they have their veteran pra- players rest on Wednesdays. So we'll see. I mean, if he doesn't practice today, then, you know, it's it's not good. And, again, I, I, when it comes to fantasy, I got him in a couple of leagues. So, uh, you know, that's... It's also big if he, uh, you know, misses time for fantasy owners, too, because he's been arguably the best fantasy player this year. So, but we'll see how this game uh, plays out. Um, you know, I mean, the Patriots defense is just going it, to, it's going to be easier for them when they don't have to deal with Tyreek Hill. Um, you know, and, and also, can Mac Jones build off of what he did against the Bills? Or is it just... Or is this just a one-game thing? Because you got to remember also the Bills aren't coming in, weren't coming into that game, you know, hot. And, you know, Josh Allen turns the ball over immediately to start the game. And the Patriots are up 10-0. You know, and I give Mac Jones a lot of credit for going down the field and, you know, them scoring that game-winning touchdown. You know, and he had a good game. Didn't throw any picks. So, yeah, I mean, we'll see how this game goes. But, again, it's in Miami. It's going to be tough. But, you know, without Tyreek Hill, the game definitely gets easier. game definitely gets easier. Um, But I don't know if that – I don't don't think that's going to be enough. I I think it's – the Dolphins ultimately will still win the game. I mean, the game might be closer. But – the other thing, too, is, I mean, we're all guilty of it. You know, from week to week, you know, the Patriots win. You're like, oh, the Patriots, you know, they, they might be uh, they might be back. But, 
you know, then they go up against the Dolphins and then they lose by like three scores. And you're like, okay, well, that was just a fluke game. So you don't want to fall victim to that. And I, and I feel like, you know, some of us may be, uh, you know, doing that. But uh, for others, they're like, yeah, the Patriots are still bad. Yeah, I mean, Patriots got to string together a couple of wins. Then, then we can have a real conversation. But I think winning against the Bills on Sunday, you know, that at least showed you something. And, you know, Mac Jones played well. So... I mean, I don't, I don't think you should discount that completely, but, man, my dog today just barks at everything. Um, but, yeah, I don't think you should discount that, but it, um, you know, it's definitely, um, you know, you got again, you got to see the Patriots string together a couple of wins. So, um, yeah. Uh, but, you know, once again... Um, but yeah, that's 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 pretty much it with the this segment. So I, uh, but once again, I just wanted to remind you guys, um, you know, when it comes to uh, you know donating, um, you know, to the show, uh, obviously it's a great way to get involved in the broadcast. Um, you know, when you comment something, and uh, y- you know, it, it basically highlights the comment when you do that, and I automatically will you know answer it. Uh, during the show, you know, again, it's a, it's a great way to, you know, interact between the, um, you know, myself, the host and the viewer, uh, you guys, um, you know, that, that's, a, it's a great way to get you, uh, you know, into the broadcast, be, become a part of the show, essentially, um, you know, and, and again, that's really what it's all about. So, uh, in order to do that, make sure to go to streamelements.com slash GSMC sports network dot slash tip. It helps the show. It makes the broadcast better. Um, so, uh, you know, make sure to go and do that if you want to, you know, again, become, become part of the show. And then obviously, uh, you know, when it comes to the bonus coverage, um, you know, make sure to go to patreon.com and look up GSMC sports network. And that is where you're going to find all the exclusive content, um, from all the podcasts here on the, uh, on the GSMC sports network, my podcast as well as the other podcasts, uh, on here, um, too. So yeah, just wanted to, uh, again, remind you guys about that as well. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it, uh, when talking about, uh, the Tyree kill injury. So obviously, you know, it's, it's Thursday, so we'll see, uh, you know, how today goes, uh, tomorrow, um, you know, and, and he's gotten dinged up in a couple of games, uh, this year. Um, so we'll see how it all shapes out. Uh, you hope that he does play, but, uh, you know, like I said, the Dolphins, uh, supposedly are prepping to, uh, play this game on Sunday without him. So, uh, we'll see how it goes. But with that, we are going to take our, uh, second break of the show. And then when we come back, we're going to talk about uh, another player that, uh, is injured right now. And that is, uh, Brock Purdy he right now is in concussion protocol. Sam Darnold is in line to start on Sunday, so we'll get into all that uh, when we come back from our second break. So stick around, and we'll be right back here on the GSMC Football Podcast. <laughs> 